Hey, what's up fellow Camtasiaers? In this video, I want to share with you my solution to the Camtasia rendering or exporting freeze issue that I've been banging my head against the past few days. As you can see, even my hair is affected. And it is a big issue that definitely needs a solution. And I believe Camtasia lacks the documentation and a solution base for how to fix it. So in this video, I want to share with you my methodical step-by-step -step approach that hopefully you can utilize as well and get your videos up and running as well. All right. So just to reiterate, the issue is that when you try to export a video, right? So I click on export, click on local file and well, there's no media here. Uh, you choose your folder and then you export, right? And there's going to be a little box that says, okay, exporting, how much time is left. And at a certain period of time, it freezes. In my case, it froze at approximately the same time, anywhere from 10 to six minutes remaining. So in that time range, it would freeze, it would stop, and it just wouldn't render or export anymore. So I had to force close Camtasia, reopen it again and try the process again. And lo and behold, it kept repeating. So the very first thing I did is go online, of course, and look up some articles, look up some YouTube videos on this. And frankly, there's not a lot. If you have this issue, you probably know it. And a lot of the solutions are pretty old, to be honest. And the worst part about it is that even though some of these solutions could work for you, I feel like they're roundabout ways to solve the issue that shouldn't be happening in the first place. You shouldn't have to go with these crazy creative ways that take up more space and end up being more complicated for you, right? And so after trying out all these videos, reading the posts, it didn't work. So I wanted to take matters into my own hands and go with the isolate a problem approach. So what I did was I took my full file, which was about 35 minutes long. And I noticed that, like I said, in my case, the issue was happening at about the 70 to 80% uh, mark of my video, right? So what I did was the first thing I did was I split up my project here, this one, how to create a Kartra SP plus TY, I split it into two parts, okay? And I exported them both. And the first part went through successfully, but the second part didn't, okay? So that's how you slowly isolate the issue. So hopefully you can do the same. You can split your video maybe at a good part and then see if the issue persists. And by the way, if you export it into two parts and everything works, then that would be a good solution for you too, because then you can open another project and then paste both of these parts together in one, right? For me, that didn't work. For me, the issue was happening still in this part too, which makes sense because that's where this 70 to 80% part of my video was in the first part. So let me show you what that's gonna look like. So like I said, with this approach to isolate the problem, you wanna try to look at all your elements in your page and see if there's anything that could be causing the issue. So what I did was I went through, you know, this part here and I looked, okay. And then I played it as well. And I noticed that there were no issues. There were no slowdowns, you know, I looked over here. There's no issues, no slowdowns, nothing here, nothing here, nothing. And then I realized I, I noticed this little part over here that I ended up cutting uh, or trimming, you know, to, to make it fit here. And I looked at this, right? And then when I started to play this part, it actually crashed. So I quit Camtasia, opened it again, and every single time I tried to play this part, it would crash. And lo and behold, that was the reason for why my video wasn't exporting. It's because even in Camtasia, even while playing it, it would crash. So if I play it here, it would crash. And the reason for that is because for some reason, making this part 10x the speed caused the crash. I don't know if it's something to do with my computer or maybe it's just too fast for Camtasia or something. Maybe you guys can give it a whirl and, uh, you know, put, put part of your clip into 10x and see if that does anything. But in my case, that's what was causing the issue. And so if you play it here, boom, see, crashes again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this. And so here I just opened this, the big version for you. And then if you come over to that spot that was given the issue, that was causing it, I just replaced it. Right. And now, right. So I just explained what I did basically. So that for them. And even though it might not be ideal, at least it removes the issue, right? At least I could export without issues. And this video was exported just fine. So point is my methodical approach is to try to isolate the problem, maybe split your video into half and try to export the first part and then the second, and then whichever one works, you leave that part out. So then if the second part doesn't work, for example, and you look in here and you still can't find the issue, then you would split that second part in half. So if I wasn't able to find that it was this, 
what I would do is I would split the second part in half and then export the first part of the second part and then the second part of the second part and see where the issue is. And that's how I would sort of isolate the issue and then narrow down to, you know, just this spot. That's how you would be able to narrow that down. So hopefully this solution helps you if none of the other ones do. Now, if this solution doesn't work for you, let me briefly summarize for you the other YouTube solutions that might work for you. So the first one is going into edit going into preferences, going into advanced and changing your hardware acceleration to software only mode or whatever it says for you that is recommended, change it to that one, close out of Camtasia, reopen it, come back into preferences, advanced, make sure it is set to that recommended and then try to re-export the video. So that's what one of the videos says you can do. Another video says that you can come in here and you can uh, take all this. So take everything. I, I think it's control A to select everything. Control A. Yeah. And then you would right click it and then you would add to library. So that's what the other video says to do to add it to library. And then when you go to library, uh, you would open a whole new file. You would take it from your library. So enter whatever you put in the library into your media here, and then you would export that. So that's what the other video said worked. So you could give all of these options a try, see what works for you. Let me know in the comments if any of these work. I'd be really curious. Um, the reason why I made this video is to share with you because I really struggled with it and I want to make sure you don't. So let me know in the comments what you think and hopefully this was helpful. I will see you in the next video.